like falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm too scared. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. The weather is looking so beautiful. I'm having a girls day with Kristen. We're gonna do a little bit of shopping and I believe we have enough energy in us. We're gonna go out at night as well. We're both very excited because it's been a while since we had a one-on-one. -on -one. at the Hudson Yards Mall. The weather is so nice. Later at night, after dinner, we're gonna go to a rooftop bar at the Public Hotel. That's what we're gonna do. The rooftop ended up not being what we thought it would be. Now we're just exhausted. No, we got it. Stop. You're putting, you're putting me down. Your body's not telling no. me otherwise. Got it. Big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. I first took Ritual a little over a year ago and what I really like about them is that it is very, very simplified and it's easy to make a habit of taking supplements every day because we all know what it's like to buy supplements and then we forget to take them and it just sits on our shelf. Does that sound like you? <laughs> From Ritual, I take the Symbiotic Plus and this is a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. And this one right here is the Essential for Women Multivitamin 18 Plus. You can use my code MICHELLECHOY20 for 20% off your first month and I will leave the link in the description. I am off to the gym. I just went downstairs really quick to pick up a package. Got three pairs of shoes. I got some heels for the spring and summer because one, I just really wanted them and two, for the shoot that I'm doing in Paris for a little puppy, I wanted some heels that can match some of the outfit. So cute. I have been seeing these like vintage Prada heels and they're so cute. One of my favorite shoe brands to find like affordable heels that are pretty good quality is Tony Bianco and I thought these were Kind of like a, a dupe for those like vintage Prada heels. I love like a little kitten heel. And they're a little big. Tony Bianco sizing is, I always get it wrong. Like I'm usually a size seven, but for some reason with Tony Bianco, sometimes I'm like a size six and a half. Or like a six. These are the other pair that I got. That was very classic looking. They're too big. Got one last pair and they also look huge on me. Just regular schmegular looking sandals. 
And then another package that are not shoes, but equally exciting. These are the roller sticky brush. Looks like this, and I will show you guys what I intend to do with this. I get ready in this bathroom, do my hair, blow drying it. When you're doing your hair, it naturally falls off, and I like cannot stand hair all over the bathroom floor. But it's also annoying to like have to go get the vacuum cleaner, vacuum it out. And this is my solution. I'm about to show you. So you see the hair on the floor, right? There's a bunch of hair all over. Of course, I have hair all over the rug as well. Boom. Boom. Look at this, guys. Look at that. It's so small, I could just keep it tucked away in like a corner. Perfect. Okay, now I should really go to the gym. I just closed the door on my finger and it hurts so bad. I'm getting ready to go to lunch in the Lower East Side with G, who is a florist. My finger hurts. <laughs> right. I'm running very late, but I am off to lunch. I feel like the videos are slowly transitioning into a very summery vlog. The weather has been incredible. You really start to feel the summer coming in New York. Walking towards where we're having lunch. We're eating at Devel, but oh my gosh, the weather is actually like hot as summer. Whew. Be nice to eat outside. I don't remember the last time I dined outside, like outside, outside. <laughs> I look crazy talking to myself in public. An act. Also, the weather's stinking nice, so I wanted to enjoy the weather with Dobby. And then I want to pick up some birthday cupcakes. I feel like I am dressing up quite a bit to go to a vet, but I saw this video on Instagram how you should not save your good outfits for special occasions and just wear it on regular days. Not that this outfit is special, but I have been living in sweats all winter long. I just miss dressing up. I've been getting a lot of suggestions from you and our new trainer and saying that he should be crate trained. He's been pretty good about staying in his crate. It's just when I close the door, he gets a little scared and anxious, but he looks pretty comfortable right now. He's definitely wondering why I'm getting dressed up. Oh, I feel like the camera's very tilted right now. Successfully made it to the vet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just finished getting Dobby his shots. <laughs> He's not happy with me, but we are on our way to get some cupcakes. It's my friend's birthday. I want to surprise her with some cupcakes. Boxes. 
Hello everyone. So I'm gonna take a quick break from editing to eat some fruits and do a little chit chat with you guys. I am going to attempt to cut an apple. I don't know what happened, but I think in my generation, the art of cutting apples just got lost somewhere. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram to give me some chit chat topic suggestions. Thought for this video, we could talk about one that I got pretty frequently. Oh my God, I'm wasting so much apple. It's about body image, body self-esteem, body confidence, all of those fun stuff. So just a little bit about my experience with body insecurity, because I feel like this is something that literally everyone goes through. For me, I started getting very insecure about my body at a very early age, elementary school to be exact. Basically, at my elementary school, at the start of school, we had to like all line up in our classes outside and then our teacher would come and then escort us into the classroom. So it was before school, I was just in my line, minding my own damn business. And then this boy comes up to me and says, so-and-so said that you have small boobs. And Never have I ever thought anything wrong with my boobs up till that point. After that moment, I always thought I had really, really small boobs. And then I started to develop a really bad insecurity. It's funny to look back at it now just because like, damn, like little kids are mean. I also don't blame the guy because we were all young and stupid at one point and we probably said and did a lot of things we probably shouldn't have. The fact that I still remember like who said it, where and when it, it all happened, it left a forever impact on me and I will never forget it. It's trickled on through all my preteen, teen years, like early adult years. And like another one happened in high school. I've, you guys know this because I've talked about it before in my videos, but I've had pretty big insecurity with my body weight and the way this happened was in high school and it was like dance season you guys know like homecoming that whole era i was told that some guy was gonna ask me to a school dance but then changed his mind because he thought i was too skinny up to that point i never thought i was like too skinny or anything was wrong with my body weight but then after that's when i started becoming just very aware of how i look I think the biggest change from now and when I was younger is that when I was younger, I was more affected by what other people were telling me. Now, I'm more affected by what I tell myself. Like, I am harder on myself than anyone that I've ever come by. Like, I've, I'm on the internet, guys. Like, I, I see comments about literally everything and anything about me. And I would say the comments that faze me the least is about my appearance. Because I don't think anyone can be harder on me than, than me. So... I think it's just a matter of being patient and nice to ourselves and our bodies. 